tubers, hey, we've got a, a six, I'm sorry, seven by 16 uh, Gator Made trailer, and it's got uh, disc brakes on it. I'm sorry, it's got drum brakes on it. We're gonna change them out. We had some problems with, with the brakes, so we bought new brakes. We're gonna take these off. I'm gonna show you how, all the steps that you need to do to, to get these brakes changed out. So first thing we're gonna do is show you what tools we need. Gotta have some gloves, you gotta have uh, impact wrench and a smaller uh, impact wrench here. We've got a channel lock, we've got uh, wire cutters, small hammer, a couple of screwdrivers, and towels. So here we go. We're gonna start. Already got this thing jacked up here. This cap comes off like so. You can use a large channel lock to get around it, but I don't have that available right now. So Okay, looks like my bearings are packed pretty good. So I'm gonna get a pretty good job here. So what we gotta do is there's a cotter pin. Take this cotter pin and straighten it out. So, there we go. Take the cotter pin out, and then this little castle nut should come right off and just screws right off. And you've got a thrust, a thrust bearing, a thrust plate right here. Okay. There's the bearing. Bearing is looking good. And here's the drum. So this is what this is what we're gonna be. We're going to take these, we're actually going to reuse these, okay? This surface here is where the drum, where the brake pad hits, right here. And this surface here, you can tell, is where the magnet hits. If you look down here on the brake, these brakes are shot, okay? There's no more pad on them at all. So what we're going to do is take these brakes off. We got an inner bearing here that'll come out. And we've got, it's like a little, little ring there. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, take this old bearing off. Take the old brakes off here. Just a little impact. We've got a 
9 sixteenths um, socket here. All right, so this wire here has already been cut because I did have this brake um, seize up on me and it basically was going down the road and one of the tires was just seized up and it ruined the tire, but we're gonna get that fixed today. But this is the old brake and this is, these are where the pads used to be, but there's no pad anymore. And this is where this is the uh, the magnet, and you can see where it's been overheated, and it's really messed up. So it's a good thing we're changing these on. So that's it. We're gonna take this to the shop, get them turned down on the lathe, and I'm gonna go get the uh, just got the new brakes in, and we're gonna put new brakes on. So we'll be back. Okay guys, we got this new brake here. We're going to put it on. Uh, I've already taken the old ones off. If you look right here, you've got these little studs. They come off the axle. Uh, there's five of them and they go in this location. And of course we got this new brake. We've got new um, brake pads and uh, we got a magnet here. And we're going to show you how to put these things on. We've got a wire, two wires that go in the back. So we're going to put these on like so. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we're going to hook up these things, and I've got a, a butt splice component here that goes like so, and we're going to crimp this, if I can get it. There's the first one. The second one's gonna be right here. Okay, so we've got uh, two butt splices that are going in and just make sure that this is not pole sensitive so you don't have to worry about white and black and black and white. It's just any wire to any location. Let me go find my electrical tape. Here it is right here. This is not behaving this morning.
right, so we got the electrical done. Let's get these nuts secured. Just get them started. And I'm using a 9 16 um, socket. Okay, so we've got these things, we've got this thing secure here. And what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to put the bearings on. Before we do that, I want to show you guys the drum here. I got this drum back from the shop, and this is what they did. They turned it for me. This right here is the surface that actually gets uh, the friction, and it actually makes contact with this surface here, which is the brake pad. And then this surface here, I asked them to machine that. It's not real rough, but they couldn't reach it with the lathe, so it's okay. Uh, if this surface gets really messed up, you just have to replace your drum. But this surface on mine seems to be okay, so I'm just gonna let it go. But this is the surface that the magnet makes contact with. And so we're ready to install this drum here. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to replace these bearings and I've got myself a brand new bearing kit brand new bearings here and that's the little seal I got the rear bearing and what we're going to do here is we're going to um, put some grease on these bearings and make sure they're good to go. some nice grease on this axle so because there's a lot of friction that's in here you definitely want this stuff to be really very well lubricated like so you cannot overdo you can't put too much grease on these it doesn't hurt a thing Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to put the drum on these brakes. Now let's look at this. I don't know that that... Okay. 
that little thing here, this little piece here is not needed for my drum for my um, for my drums here. This piece here uh, is for it's for a different design. Mine already has the tapered. See how this is tapered? My drum is already tapered on the inside, so this piece is not needed. And the same goes for this piece here. Do not need that piece because I've already got a tapered section. trying to fry, find the thrust bearing. You want to make sure you use this little washer. Really what they, what's really important is this thing is used for, uh, for thrust, kind of like a thrust washer. So you want to put that right there. And then we're going to put the castle nut on. The castle nut doesn't have to be torqued, okay? What you have to do is you have to uh, screw it on like so. I'm going to take these gloves off. They're getting kind of messy. You just screw it on like so until you have, until you get it where it's snug, and then you want to back off so that you can get your cotter pin in. And... What we'll do here is we've got a brand new cotter pin. I just gotta find where the hole is. There's the hole right there. So now we got our cotter pin, and you notice that I didn't torque this castle nut. You don't have to torque it. You just have to get it, you know, kind of tight, almost where it's snug. And then you put a little twist on the end of your like so and then what we'll do is we will uh, well I'm gonna get my finger dirty here I'll put a little bit more grease in here Again, you cannot use too much grease, it doesn't hurt anything. Okay. So we, we're fully installed. So what will happen is, when you press the brakes, as long as the brakes are working properly, it will get a 12 volt signal back here, and that will that'll magnetize the magnet. And once that magnet makes contact with this inside surface, it will put pressure on these brakes. And uh, that's what stops your trailer. 
and I think we're good to go. Thanks for watching. Thank you.